y'all. Uh, well, I was going to say good morning, but it's not. It's actually good afternoon. July 5th. Mm -hmm. Yep, July 5th. I don't like my hair shorter like this. It just doesn't take much to make it look tidy. Anyway, um, after spending the whole day yesterday in bed with my feet in the air, and, uh, oh, I managed to do some dancing. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link up here to the video. Yes, there's no keeping this one down. Everywhere there's a will, there's a way, as they say. So, we're finally making progress. Well, I'm finally making progress. Well, my legs and my feet are finally making progress. Uh, starting to go down, thank goodness. Now, this is where I have to be careful. Because I usually have a habit of like, oh, they look better. And off I go. Mm. And then I usually end up with swollen feet and swollen legs again. So I'm going to have to be very careful right now. Today I've spent most of the morning. What time is it? It's lunchtime. Yeah, 12.20. Definitely lunchtime. Still, I'm very, very sleepy. Um, I didn't sleep much yesterday. I slept on and off during the day yesterday. Because I mean, what else is there to do? But I've slept a lot this morning, and I, you know, I think it's kind of finally catching up with me. And because my legs are not as painful, I'm actually able to get some sleep. So I'm gonna go get myself some bone broth soup that I had made earlier in the year. And that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. And a cup of tea, of course. And then I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm finding it hard keeping my eyes open right now. Anyway, let me show you how we're doing. Oh, you can see under my bed. There you go. See how much better we are doing? We are not as swollen. We are not as fat. Uh, even my knees I'm starting to get the skinny legs the uh, the old people skinny leg thing going on let's go to the kitchen we've already got tea heating up in the microwave in the microwave is that? yes in the microwave what I do is I make a pot of tea and I've obviously it, it turns it it goes cold, dear. So I pour some in a cup and I heat it up in the microwave. And I need to get that grass out there planted because it's looking like it's starting to suffer. The one that's sitting in water. But that can wait till tomorrow morning. I hope. Oh, I do feel shaky. I feel rather shaky. And, and it's not from my breathing treatments either. Oh, me. Oh, dear me. So, hubby got some a watermelon. Because that's also good for a good diuretic. You know, eating a lot of watermelon. So, right now, our fridge is full of diced up watermelon. And what's so nice about it is because it's sour, because it's diced. Um, it's easy just to go in and grab a few pieces, put them in a bowl and eat it. And the only thing is, now we've got fruit flies all over the place. They came in and they hitched a ride on the watermelon. But that's okay. Um, I shall deal with those shortly but not today it's amazing how fruit flies can just suddenly turn up out of nowhere there's soap all the way back there 
on the top shelf or I can just easily reach in for this yeah look at that pickle that pickle cauliflower and just reach in I grab one of those because then there'll be enough left for tomorrow that's a quart carrot and rotten bagger is what we're going to have for lunch today and yeah I'm going to warm it up in the microwave, quick and easy. I could do it in, with, in a pan, but right now, no, I'd rather just big soup cup. And, uh, eat it up in the microwave, and that way you've only got one thing to wash at the end of it. I'll see how we're slowly getting things down here. And uh, over there is where I'm working on the jewellery, see how it's all? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Slowly but surely. Can you tell you, um, we're going to have to do some work. Yes, we are. We're going to have to start doing some work um, once we get over this bit. So we finally turn the corner into July. We turn around that corner, we turn that corner and we get going. We get our exercise is done again. Yes, done. Then we go from there. We get moving. We get working on things that need to be worked on. And uh, we get some kind of a schedule going and stick to the schedule. Because that's it's not that it's not a bad thing to have a schedule. It really isn't. Come on now. Come on, Jill. You can do this. Find the soft spot. Find the bit where it works. Right there. Did you hear that? And of course you didn't see any of it, did you? Because you're looking up my nostrils. And of course it's too bright over that way. I do need to have something to... I dropped you all on your bottom, I'm sorry. Okay. Now hopefully you'll stay there and you won't go flying again and that light is in the wrong way of the place and it is. Oh well. Make sure you give it a dull, real good stir. Cause it's been sitting there all along. And they can separate. There we go. I don't need to add anything to this. Now, if I was on a very tight budget, I could actually you know, use less than half this and could actually stretch it out with water because it is a, a pretty thick soup. A good thick soup. One minute and 30 seconds. It's amazing actually how long, you don't realise how long one minute and 30 seconds is. until you do something like a video. You definitely need to get some more of these caps. I love these caps, they work on messy jars, non-PBA. And now that's safe to put in the fridge. Yep, from half of it. Now you could, if you wanted to make that more of a cream of, um, again you could water it down, you know, use less of it, add a bit more water to it, and then you could add some yogurt to it, say. It'll make it taste good. Oh. I'm trying to hide this light. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> 
it's just one of those days, you know, you just kind of shuffle through the day the best you can. Do the best you can and be mindful, June, of the fact that you don't want to be spending, yep, see, that little, it's a little bit of time spent on my feet, getting my soup. My feet are starting to grow again. So, we're off back to the bedroom. I'll see you through there. Get used to this service. Watermelon in bed. Delivered. Mm -hmm. Right from the kitchen. I don't know when. Bobby's uh, helping me to try and keep up with this um, staying off my feet business. I think maybe another day of this, which I, I'm not sure if I can handle that. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something to do. I, but I'm so tired. Um, I, I don't understand why I'm so tired. Well, I guess I do because I really, over the past few weeks, I really haven't slept that much. And uh, I also went off completely off track and eating all that sweet stuff and stuff that's really not good for me, um, that my system is not happy with. So, you know, I've completely thrown myself through for a loop. So we're going to be turning the corner July and, and getting right back on it and um, getting to where I'm feeling my silly self as far as my sense of humor has come back. I think. But um, Old. As far as energy wise, we're not there. That's going to take some work, I think. That's definitely going to take some work. Um, I do have a lot of work to do um, to, to build myself back up <clears throat> because I have to have that operation and I need to be as fit as I possibly can be. Of course I'm as stubborn as ever. And uh, trying to be stubborn in the right way. And uh, make sure that you know I, I keep keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing in order to move forward. Yeah that makes sense doesn't it? I am going to um, try and see if I can make some piece and jewelry while I'm holed up like this uh, but it's not going to be easy because for the most part I need to be head down head further down and feet further up so um, I found that that's the secret to letting this stuff go there are some things that I want to try and do jewelry making wise that I've never done before so we'll see how that works actually there's a lot of things craft wise that I want to try and do that I haven't done before yes I was a very crafty person at one point had everything I needed but uh, most of it got stolen I'm doing the best that I can with what I have we can do this yes we can we can do this it'll be nice to put some clothes on I'm not putting any clothes on right now because I'm, well, I've got my PJs on. I wouldn't be doing this in the noon. Um, but I, I, uh, it's just uncomfortable trying to be in bed rest and having clothes on. Because clothes are just not made for bed rest type stuff, are they? I'm sorry, my ear is burning. Somebody talking about me out there. That's okay. So I've waffled on and I've waffled on and I've waffled on because to be honest with you, I'm bored. I've been watching some videos but my attention kind of goes elsewhere, you know. I, uh, 
Because I'm bored, dear, I'm bored. I'm going to try and get my hubby to bring the desk up from downstairs. And I've said this before and put it underneath where the grow rack is. Because there's enough, really, there is enough room for that. I keep thinking about maybe changing my bed around. But that would mean I would need to do something with the TV. Um, not that I watch TV that much. Because uh, I'm trying to figure out a way of making it feel a bit more spacious. Stop thinking, June. That is dangerous to think, you know. It really is dangerous sometimes to think. I'm going to finish this. I most likely doze off again. Luckily my trilogy's right there so I can just slip it on and uh, slide into La La Land. I talk to you soon. It's been a pretty uneventful day. Because I mean, how eventful can it be? Lying here in bed. But as you can see, finally we're starting to see some progress. Yep, my swelling is going down in my legs, my feet, my knees, my from top to bottom. The swelling is finally going down. Tizzy's like, Mama, it's bedtime. Oh, look at the hook on his face. I didn't have any bone broth soup for dinner. I did had a um a uh, six inch sandwich which I will confess did have some um, only a small amount though of uh, roast beef pepper jack cheese mm -mm -mm. then it had hot peppers green peppers red peppers lettuce and tomato so it was a good sandwich hoping that after this weekend I'll be able to get back to doing some uh, the jewellery that needs to be made. Look at that, I've got Bubble right there again. Go away, Bubble. Oh, that's my third eye, I think it's like saying, hello. Need attention here, please. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm so tired. <laughs> Done nothing but sleep on and off all day. And not just half an hour here, half an hour, but two hours here and a couple of hours there. And a couple is two, June. Okay. But you know what I mean. I do have some happy mail I was going to do today, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. Still need to do the nasal part of the trilogy set up. There's so many things that I want to do that right now I'm kind of stuck and limited as to what I can do. Because the amount of time I'm not supposed to spend on my feet. I'm going to say, be kind, be thoughtful, and considerate to those around you and those you come in contact with. No matter how you come in contact with, remember, pain and suffering is pain and suffering. It doesn't matter the type. When you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see. Because one day that person you're looking at just might be you. But you might not like it. <clears throat> one step at a time, one breath at a time. We. I can do this. You keep saying that to yourself and eventually we will get there. Where there is, I have no idea, but we will. I'm going to say good night, good morning, and good evening, wherever you are in the world.